Mitch Wallace, who's making a real, you know, like renaming himself really as a mm. as a sort of full forward who's, you know, he, he's not getting heaps of possessions like Jack, but he's having a massive impact on the game yeah. at the moment and yeah. looks really dangerous and he's kicking goals every week. Yeah, we talk a lot internally, Bob, about, um, you know, the quality over sort of quantity involvement. And I guess that when you look at those two players, they differ because Mitch is probably um, not getting as much access as what as what Jack is in the midfield. But like you said, really having an impact on the game because of his one-on-one ability. Like he, he's definitely, this season, presenting himself as one of the best sort of one-on-one players sort of in the competition, mm. I think. Definitely at our football club because of his his strength and ability to outbody smaller opponents, but also sort of medium to, to big opponents. So he's a very accurate kicker goal too, Mitch. So you really do want the ball in his hands um, sort of inside inside 50 when he's within sort of scoring distance. But he's been incredibly reliable for us as a player up forward um, this season. Um, and like you said, to, to shift your, your role after playing a lot or most of his career as a midfielder to then go and have to deal with not getting as much access to the ball. You, you know, as a forward, there's a lot of time where you're not involved or you potentially sort of feel like you can drift and be out of the game. And when the ball does come down there and in your direction, you got to make the most of it. So he's done that incredibly well, Mitch. And as a leader of the football club, setting a, a bloody good example. 